Welcome back to the Caribou Data Science Channel. Today is Tuesday, January. Or is Tuesday? Is Wednesday? Tuesday, January 19, 2021. And it's time to begin running my daily COVID 19 analysis for several countries. The first country we'll look, take a look at is, uh, is Spain. I call it the Camino in honor of the Camino de Francais, which I've done two thirds of. Okay, welcome back, Spain, to the Caribou Data Science Channel. Uh, before we get started, I do have one favor to ask you folks today, and that is if you uh, that you that you click on the share link and share, click on the share button, and 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 and, and share the link to this report with one person this week. That's all I'm asking. Just what, you share the report with one person this week, okay? I know that you know someone who's a, who's a, a Spanish person or two or three or four who are who are are concerned about the COVID-19 outbreak in the in the, in Spain, so share this. So just go ahead and share this this report with one person this week. Just click on the share button and then cut and paste the link uh, into into say Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, something like that. Okay, or into an email even, or even into a, a text message. Okay, so uh, so I also, also ask you you click on the share button, copy the link and share the link with one person there that you know is interested in. Uh, the COVID-19 outbreak in, in Spain. So let's go and run the report now. Okay, so you can see that Spain currently has 2.3 million cases, 53,769 deaths. The good news is this, the, the mortality rate continues to decline, so it's now below 1%. Now, this may seem kind of, how, how, how can we have a low, low mortality rate and such a high, this is a steep increase in cases? Well, the reason is because the separation between the cases and the deaths is, 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 is growing wider. That's mainly because, as we'll see here, that the deaths aren't increasing as fast as the cases are. So that's how you can have increasing cases and increasing deaths and still have a low mortality rate, okay? But you can look, well, this mortality rate here says it's uh, 352, all right? Again, we can zoom in. You can see, according to this plot here, the numbers actually started to flatten. Deaths have started to flatten out a little bit, maybe. Okay, weekly cases. Uh, well, this is this is the current weeks. This is last week's weekly deaths. This is this week's. This is last week's. There's a chance that we may finish below this number right here, maybe even below one of these one of these two numbers right here in in Spain. Well, this is not good news. Uh, January's cases have already passed December's cases, and in all probability, we'll catch uh, November's cases. Unfortunately, uh, if we look down here at deaths, well, you know we've got we got what a little over two weeks to go. A little over maybe 13 days to go, 12, 13 days to go. So it remains to be seen if uh, if January deaths are going to catch either uh, November's deaths or December's death. Okay. So it, uh, we need, you know, so the situation is not great in uh, in Spain at the moment. Uh, if there's, any, if there's any consolation, is that the deaths are not that the deaths are not increasing as fast as cases. It may be the best news so far in a low mortality rate. Okay. So one more time, if you if you know someone who's who's interested in the COVID-19 situation in, in Spain, click on the share button, click on the link, and cut and paste that link into an email, into Facebook, into Twitter, whatever way you means you have to, to get this to get this message out to this one again. All I'm asking is for one person. That you share this with one person this week, okay? Thanks so much for your time, and we'll catch you on a later report.